Hi, this is Ken Button with Cloud Radix, and this is a quick screencast showing the new website process and the project management uh, aspect of our new website process. So, uh, basically, the project management is going to offer better communication, better collaboration, and better overall results. Um, and you can see here some of the reasons why you'd consider a project manager. Um, and then, of course, uh, we'll be using the Mavenlink project manager software. We'll create the new website project from a template. Uh, we'll name it. We'll invite our team members. We'll modify it as needed for the project. We'll have our internal peer review, and then it'll be proved for um, eventual share with the client. And then, ultimately, um, we are going to share this project management with the client, and that occurs at the project agreement signature meeting. Um, when we meet with the client to determine the project goals, we create a project detail. That defines the full scope of the entire website build. And, and then a project agreement is created, and basically the project agreement defines the terms of, of our relations, um, the payment of the relations, and it says it's going to be, ba and our, our to-do list basically is per the project detail. So the Cloud Radix uh, and then the client will then end up signing the agreement. Once that's performed, we'll upload both the project detail and now the signed project agreement to this newly created um, client project that we did. And then, of course, um, we'll invite the client right there at the meeting and ensure that they actually get in the project. We'll spend a few moments with them explaining um, how to use it and the different ways they can use it and make sure they have a, a pretty good understanding of this is where all the all of the communication must take place so let's go ahead and take a look at um, the project manager that we use Mavenlink okay so in in um, in our internal processes we'll go ahead and create the new project and we'll name it the client name and we'll set the due date for whenever the project's due. So if it's a new website build, maybe it's a month later. Let's say we set it for September 30th. Uh, we'll name, oops, we'll name the this Cloud Radix, and then of course we'll leave that there as clients. Um, we'll make sure that it's open to all of the current account members on the Cloud Cloud Radix team. Then we'll click Create Project. Oops, excuse me. We're going to add it to a project uh, template. Um, so we have a new website project. Okay, uh, that's um, that's going to have a pre-made template that we have. So we create the project. Okay, so I can then invite the team members, or they can actually just join it um, without invitation. And then um, at this point, um, you can see here there's an activity feed. Okay, this activity feed contains the full <clears throat> actions tasks, everything that's executed is right in here. Every question that's asked, you can just post a message here, you can upload files, you can attach Google files, you can link it to a specific task. This is kind of like an overview main feed, a lot like Facebook. All right, so over here, you'll notice this tab. This is the first thing that we'll click on and we'll set the project settings. We'll basically give a brief description of the project. And this is where we'll define the project goals We'll put a link to the project manage, um, oops, excuse me, project detail, project agreement link. Now, you might say, well, how the heck do we do that? Well, I, we, we will put this goal in, and then we'll just put that there for right now. And we'll go ahead and hit save. We're going to come back to that in a second. Now we'll just go ahead and upload the files. And when we upload the files, and um, a lot of times we'll uh, upload a PDF file or we'll attach a Google Doc, we'll then post it right here. So if we were to upload a file uh, from there, oops, um, for instance, here's here's a couple actually right here. Uh, let's say we're going to upload this project um, detail. So we do that. And we want to upload the project agreement. Oops. 
Okay, so we'll put that in there as well. Okay, and now that those are in the post, and we just click post, the files are now going to show up over here in the file section, right? And you can be linked to tasks at a different time, but for right now, what we have is a link, and obviously you can view it right here within the project manager, um, but we can copy that link address, and when we come over here to manage project settings, we can put the project detail link, and then we can put the project agreement link right there. Let's go ahead and save that, return to the project, and get that one. And we'll come over here, and we'll put the oops, project agreement link. And basically the goals right there. So now we've saved this project. Okay, well, basically we've got a task tracker here, and it has some predefined dates. Obviously, those dates would change. It has the main things that we're going to have to undergo during um, most new website builds. And every one of these tasks is either a task, deliverable, or milestone. And well, milestones are those major events that must occur before you can reach your goal, your main goal, which is the website completion. The, the deliverables are those things that both Cloud Radix must perform at different times for this project to be successful. Uh, in, in our line of work, a lot of times it's really more, though, what the client must perform, provide us, like uh, text, images, uh, videos, and so forth. Tasks are those things that are the... Um, elements as a subset of milestones and deliverables that must be executed to achieve these. Okay, so this templated new website build is unlikely to match and marry with every client as every new website is a custom project and requires customization, uh, obviously. So this is just a general good start for us. So one thing we really want to do is uh, we found that we really want to understand where the client is now. We want to understand what their local data is. We're going to run some different reporting. We're going to do extensive research on the current um, internet presence status. And in each one of these tasks, uh, we'll have a description of what the um, task is to be. And then when we're, when we're going to execute the task, we'll go ahead and and uh, link maybe um, the file that was uh, that we generated from doing a third-party audit of the website or, or one, uh, one of the backlinks or something like that. So every single one of the tasks contains a linked, um, you know, message. Um, so this particular one was local data, complete review of local data, and we might put today's date. Well, we don't have to do that because obviously it does that in the post. So we would just then, once again, upload files or attach to Google Doc, and then we'd click Post. And now we can go back to the task details, and maybe we already had the start date of, of uh, let's say, set. Um, we can say that it's completed now. And obviously there would have been an assigned user. You can only assign those that are actually in the, in the project already. Um, and since I haven't invited team members or our clients haven't joined yet, I'm the only person available at this point. So, we've got link posts we've got um, that you can click now, and it's going to show you uh, the different various link posts. Or, of course, you can go over here to the activity feed, and you can see now we've complete review of local data. Had I uploaded a document, the document would be right here. You could simply click review. So, this activity feed uh, contains all that. Now, the task tracker um, is quite extensive. I'll go ahead and show that. I'll open it up. So for any of you clients out there, I want to know what this is uh, going to entail. Any of you potential clients out there want to know what our processes are. Competitors out there want to know how we do our process uh, to ensure that we do a great job for our clients. Have a look. So this is basically um, something that we extend pull back and modify based on each client project and uh, on now these dates in here um, 
they're not correct obviously but <clears throat> so this is the drill down and these are the things that need to get done and you can assign it to different people uh, you can uh, put different tags on different things and you can make it a task deliverable or milestone quickly and of course to add another uh, task you know you can add clients can come in here and actually add tasks and and so forth as well so we're not going to actually add that um, notice there isn't a save button everything is saved uh, as you go so you don't have to worry about that now this is um, something very important to um, high-level executives that need to see a quick overview of what the heck's going on so if we collapse everything we can see the main main points of this project and if we had the dates filled in here and here and so forth uh, you would see a beautiful Gantt chart showing the, the entire um, project um, from a high overview and uh, we'll um, return back to the project section and of course the file section allows for us to show every single file that has been uploaded it doesn't matter where it's been uploaded this contains all the files and you can do a search of the file and so forth so project detail I just put in project and it shows only that so you can search okay and that's basically the introduction to our process of how we get started with a new website project and how we have uh, good accountability one thing I will mention here at the end um, you got this word uh, workspace little email address here this is a beautiful little tool basically once you invite clients into this project manager or once you are invited into this project manager you will see every single post every single update within this project manager will be sent to you an email you can reply to that email and it'll put it right within a reply post to this so it's a case where you don't even have to move in furthermore you could actually just take this email address and copy it and simply send emails to the project manager from your email client with that as the to address and it'll input all of your email communication sent to that email address right here into the project manager as a posted message if you were to uh, send 25 attachments um, and they were Microsoft Word attachments it would put all the attachments in here and you'd find all those attachments in the files once um, it's been uh, received by this management so uh, this is it thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day